Hello, I'm Randy Newby with Glad Models Today. And with me, we have a special guest, Heather Marie Designs. So Heather, please tell us about your hats. Um, well, my headpieces, um, they were created with everyone in mind. Um, I embellished the hats. I purchased the hats blank and then I embellished them. I add the various embellishments for unisex um, preferences. And I also have inside the headpieces is a drawstring to assist with size adjustments. Oh, I know, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So just so everybody will know, you don't make the hat themselves. Correct. You just embellish the headbands and the feathers and Correct. the rhinestones. Correct. And you make them look really good. As a matter Thank of fact, you. if we had one of those hats right now, oh, this is one of your many designs. And this is a pink with, uh, oh, those rhinestones are beautiful. Thank you. It's a you, pink fedora. You don't see that on most hats. No, sir. Not at all. And you said you do a drawstring? There is a drawstring in each um Oh, fedora it. mm -hmm. yeah. and it's good for um the women or those who wear locks mm -hmm. um for size adjusting so let's say for example if you uh take out your braids women um like to wear braids in the summertime you know you have that extra room from wigs to extra um yeah. pieces of hair that us we women got models really like that to have wear. huge hair exactly exactly <laughs> so you have that uh, capability to adjust the the size on the okay. inside of the hat so it's an investment right mm -hmm. well i like that i think that's pretty cool and Thank the you. rhinestone i mean the uh well i guess that the is rhinestone uh-huh they're rhinestones yeah. embellishments yes it really sir. sets it off now Thank you do your hats come already formed yes so i buy the um hats right now i'm specializing in the fedoras um i just love the fedoras and how they look the versatility of them um, so I buy them blank and then I just add my creative designs to them. Um, just because, you know, normally you do see just a, a band and a feather. So I kind of wanted to go outside the box and bring something new, um, mm -hmm. to the fashion industry. And are they all felt? They're always all felt? Um, right now the fedoras are felt, um, due to it's so hot in the Southern, um, states that wool, um, I don't see anybody wearing wool in the summer uh, weather. So right now, yes, they are felt. Um, and then I will be, I'm in the process of bringing in more style of hats. Mm -hmm. And I'll be embellishing those. So you're well. not, so you will get away from the fedora look to yes, a degree? Yes, correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Not necessarily get away, but just add to what I right. have. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, you know, I know we talked about it. Back in the, uh, what was it, the early 80s, the cowboy hats with the big feathers mm -hmm. and all that stuff, you mm -hmm. know, Mickey Gilly made it popular mm -hmm. from Urban Cowboy mm -hmm. and everything like that. But anyway, um, yeah, I really like this style. Thank I think you. that's pretty cool. Now, you know, a lot of Western style hats go by, if it's summertime, they wear the straw. If mm -hmm. it's wintertime, you wear black, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So now are you ever going to get into a straw hat type thing? Yes, I am in the works of um, dealing with the company um, outside of the States who offer nothing but straw hats. Okay. And um, there's different grades with this company that I found out doing my research. So they grade the straw hat from starting from a three to four on up to a 14, 15. And the higher the grade, the more, the better the straw is. So I'm looking forward to working with them in the near future for summer, spring, summer, 2020. And you do sell these? Yes, they are selling really, really well. Um, I have, I've, I do a lot of vendor events. So that's where you get um, a lot of your, I discount it just a little bit to uh to my clients um and then i also you know i have a website whereheathermarie.com you can find all the selections online and i think it's about 50 um head different head pieces off the door right now um but there's different 50 different styles well yeah beautiful mm -hmm. colors thank you we're since she's here today with us we are doing a photo shoot with our models wearing different ones 
And uh, you have some beautiful, bright colors. I like that. Thank you. You know, instead of just a plain hat, mm -hmm. you know, I think they look great. Thank you. So what does a hat like this run? Um, the hat with the rhinestones underneath, never seen before, created by me. Um, this begins at $249.99. Um, and we are in the process of kind of perfecting some things on the rhinestones. So um, the other headpieces without the rhinestones underneath um, start retail at $149.99. Like I said, it is an investment um, because of the drawstring underneath. Mm -hmm. Um, to, so you don't have to, women don't have to wear um, the hats with just one particular hairstyle, as well as those who um, have locks. They don't, you know, just have to wear now, the hat. was that your design? Well, I've never the, seen the drawstring inside of a hat. That was something I just, um, I really took a hold to because um, I know for me, like I have braids now um, at the top of my hair. So... Because yes. I, you know, I've worn wigs in the past. I hear women all the time say, my head's too big. I wear, you know, a sew-in or, you know, my head's too big. And I'm like, no, just try it on. Your head is not too big. And when you take that hair out, you know, when you take those, I call them extras out, you have the room to pull that drawstring. You have the ability to pull the drawstring and tighten it up. Okay. Because, you know, we have models that have really short hair. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I look at, I call it the Twiggy look mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. back in the 60s yes. to, well, like Robbie, mm -hmm. has a whole lot of hair, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, Marissa, long, red, bush, you know, mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. So that's the benefit of being able to enlarge have the drawstring. Draw exactly. And it doesn't hide. It doesn't. You it does not show. It. That is correct. Mm -hmm. You yeah. tuck it inside and nobody ever knows. But you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. And like I say, her name's Heather Marie Designs, mm -hmm. and it's heathermarie.com or is it heathermariedesigns.com? My website is where, W-E-A-R, heathermarie.com. My Instagram is heather.marie.designs with an S. And um, my Facebook uh, is just Heather Marie. And then I have a business Facebook page. Um, it's Heather Marie Designs Tees. I actually started uh, my creative uh, walking in my purpose in 2013. And so I started off with a uh, custom apparel company. And oh. so I wanted to reinvent myself. And with the help of a, a young guy that I know, um, he wanted a hat line. And here we are to this day. Well, that's awesome. I mean, this is great. These are beautiful. Thank you. And I appreciate you letting my models wear them today. You're so welcome. And as I said, this is Glad Models Today. Um, you can go on to our website, which is gladmodels.com. We do have you in as a, one of our influencers. Yes. And you'll be able to see the hats and different styles and colors. Yes. Well, thank you very much for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to work with you two gentlemen. Well, we, we appreciate that a <laughs> and lot. And the models as well. They did an awesome job. Well, thank you, Heather. Thank you. You're welcome.